previously on Chera the Creative. The one previous to that, we installed these racks. So in order to clear more space for this gym area, Here we go again, y'all, putting shit together. So I'm getting ready to <laughs> put this mount together, TV mount. I've done this before, but I don't remember how, so got my little handy dandy instructions. And I'm getting ready to install it up here. Wait, you guys see? I'm getting ready to install it above this wall um, for my little gym. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to set up the actual gym. I found this mat. Um, I originally had those puzzle, you know, those puzzle mats that you put together and I still have those. And I actually did order a new set from Amazon because the ones that I had, they were just a little bit banged up and dingy. But I, you will see that I still use them in a few here. Um, but I found this mat at a place called Academy Sports. It was $24.99 and it actually was more square footage than a set of the puzzle uh, of the of the puzzle mat. We're just gonna call it the puzzle mat. And it gave me 32 square feet versus 20 square feet um, on Amazon. So it was $24.99. So it was I got a much I got much more you know bang for my buck buying it here. Um, but I am a little pissed because I saw it at TJ Maxx earlier, later on in that day, and it, they had one for $14.99. So I could have went back and returned and did the whole thing to get my $10, but you know, whatever. I didn't. So anyway, I'm just trying to figure out how I want to set the gym up right now at this point. Um, I just laid out the mat. It does have a little smell, so it's going to have to like air out and everything. So you, what you'll see here in the next few clips is I'm just trying to figure out how I want to set it up and you'll see how I use the puzzle mats as well so I ended up removing the mat because I totally forgot about the boxing bag I want that to go on the corner of the mat just so that it's kind of out of the way but still is in a good position where there's enough space for me to be able to use it and you know once I do use it it's going to move anyway because when you when you punch the bag it moves um but it, and it and don't get me wrong it, it is stable it's and all of that it has water at the base there's water in the base but when you're punching it hard it moves it just moves a little bit so anyway um you'll see here right now i've figured out that i needed still more space i wanted the space to be wider than what it was so although the the full mat 
gave me more square footage. It still wasn't as wide as I wanted it to be. I kind of wanted like a square, like a nice sized square. So here I am creating that with the additional uh, puzzle mats that I had. So I used four puzzle mats in order to achieve the square look that I was looking for. So for additional storage, I ended up installing this rack. I got this from Amazon and I'll try to leave links for everything down below. Um, here is where I'm hanging my booty bands, my resistance bands, my jump ropes, and then also my additional yoga mats. And then in here is my bin with all of my additional exercise equipment, just things that I might not reach for on a daily basis when I'm working out. Map worked out great and I like the setup that I came up with as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave me some comments down below on what you think. I did not spend a lot of money on this guys. Most of the things that I have I already had on hand. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, <laughs> oh,